when the signers of the LLC are parents with an only child who's disabled, what happens after the parent's death? There's no trusted family member. Well, okay, you know, it doesn't matter about the LLC. If if you have a situation, I'll just make the comment. If you have a situation where you have property that's important or you have a loved one, someone you want to care for, you want to have an insurance policy, for example, one thing, an insurance policy, at least an insurance policy that would, that would the purpose of life insurance is to uh, maintain the care or close to the care level that existed before you uh, died, if that's the case, right? Uh, so if you have a dependent child that's going to be dependent on you for life or most of his adult life, a big chunk of his adult life, you want to have an insurance policy so that if you die or one of you died, husband, wife, mom, and dad, uh, that, uh, okay, the life policy, you don't just write a check to your child. You need to set up a trust fund that would be funded upon your death and should have a plan. And the trust would have the appointment of a trustee. And you would use in that case, here's how it works. Professional trustee, which another term for that is guardianship. So what you want to do is check with a guardianship organization that does guardianships for disabled children whose parents have passed. Okay. And uh, you have life insurance, first of all, that would fund that. You can do that today. Then that's nice if you can build up a, a nice uh, portfolio, right, uh, of assets. And you can also convey those assets for, or for liquidation or for the use of the trust at some point. That's what I would do. So the trust would acquire the use of those assets or the ownership of the assets at a certain under a condition, right? Let's say on, on your death or upon the payment of a life policy, right? But then make sure the trust is with competent people that can be the trustee and take the care, provide the care that you would want if you were still here, right? Does that answer the question? Does that help you guys think through? Yeah. A trust is not just a piece of paper, okay? It's literally a trust arrangement. Great example is I'm, I'm going on vacation tomorrow. So I go over to my neighbor's house tonight, knock on the door. Hey, Ralph, can you watch my dog? I'm going to be gone for a week. Yeah, he's fun. We'll have the kids love him. Sure, bring him over. Yeah, here's his dog food. Uh, remember to give him a bath on Thursday. All right, have fun. Bye. I trust that my neighbor will take good care of my dog. My dog is the property. My neighbor's the trustee. I'm the beneficiary. <laughs> Do I have a written document? Nope. Don't need it. So a trust like that would be guardianship. A guardianship is a special type of trust. Very special. It's regulated by statute. It's so special.